Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever it is that you are watching this video. I want to share something with you today and make a bit of a bold statement. And this is something that is absolutely critical, not just for your hormones, your heavy periods, your menstrual cycle, but frankly, your overall health, your longevity, and the prevention of chronic health issues. And this is something that far too few practitioners are talking about. And it's something that in my practice has become a non-negotiable. I'm talking about your gut today, your digestive system. Now, stick with me for a second because I get how far removed this may seem from the actual problem that you're having with your heavy periods. But I promise you, you are going to want to take this seriously if you truly want to optimize your health, not just get your hormones in check. So let's dive in. What does the gut have to do with it? What does it have to do with your heavy periods, your hormones? In a word, everything. For starters, your gut is home to something called the astrobilone. This is a group of bacteria that live in your digestive system that are responsible for maintaining estrogen levels and circulation. When your astrobilone is upregulated, when it's overactive, it's going to kick out an excessive amount of an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase. And beta-glucuronidase is an evil little devil when it gets out of control. What it does is it deconjugates, which is really a fancy way of saying that it's breaking estrogen off of a molecule that it's been bound to in the liver for preparation for elimination. And when this happens, estrogen becomes free again, and it goes back into circulation, which creates an opportunity for estrogen dominance and the heavy periods. This is a big deal. Your gut bacteria can literally be responsible for your hormonal issues and heavy periods. It starts with the estrobilone, but it certainly doesn't end there. A combination that I see time and time again is heavy periods and iron deficiency, which kind of makes sense, right? However, when you're iron deficient and you're popping all of the iron supplementation and your ferritin levels aren't budging, we've got to look at the gut to figure out why you're not absorbing that iron because the nutrients are absorbed in the gut. If you have leaky gut, for example, you're not going to absorb that iron. We also have to think about pathogenic overgrowths because pathogens like parasites, yeasts, and fungus, as well as pathogenic bacteria feed on iron. So popping all those iron pills, if you've got a pathogenic infection in your gut is really allowing that infection to grow. You're feeding those pathogens instead of feeding yourself. The gut is also the biggest source of internal inflammation and inflammation is the cornerstone of every single period problem. Inflammation impacts how well your body can make hormones, how your hormones communicate with your cells and how they communicate with each other. And inflammation is going to impact the estrobilum. It's going to upregulate beta-glucuronidase and send even more estrogen back into circulation, meaning heavy periods. Pathogens, by the way, will also upregulate inflammation and leaky gut, both of which will upregulate the estrobilum and cause more estrogen to go back into circulation. You see how important the gut is? There's also the matter of histamine. If you have an overproduction of histamine, which is released by mast cells throughout various cells and organs in the body, largely in the digestive tract, where about 80% of your immune system lives, you're going to make even more estrogen because histamine stimulates the production of estrogen. You absolutely cannot ignore your digestive system if you are serious about your health and your hormones. And to be honest, it's not the obvious signs like bloating and constipation and diarrhea and indigestion and heartburn, for example, that point to digestive issues. Though those are all very definite indicators that your gut is in serious need of some TLC and is very much involved in your heavy periods and hormone problems. By the way, if you're constipated, you are not eliminating estrogen and it's going to go back into circulation. And yes, estrogen dominance and heavy periods. Now, other signs of gut issues include things like regular headaches and migraines, food sensitivities, mood swings, anxiety, depression, brain fog, cognitive difficulties like memory loss or trouble concentrating, thyroid issues, especially hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, issues with metabolism like weight gain, regular colds or infections, issues with sleep, 
allergies. These are all signs that your gut is in need of some love. It is so incredibly critical to do a deep dive into your digestive health, both in support of your hormones as well as your optimal health. The answer, by the way, is not to take a probiotic. The reason why that approach doesn't work is threefold. Number one, most over-the-counter probiotics are strain-based and they don't even survive the upper GI tract anyway. Two, strain-based probiotics can create imbalances in the gut bacteria, making the situation worse. And three, if you have a pathogenic overgrowth, probiotics can make you feel worse, not better. And pathogens need to be dealt with appropriately before they can become a serious issue. Probiotics alone also don't help histamine issues. They don't solve for leaky gut or inflammation. It is absolutely critical to run proper functional labs to find out what is going on in your digestive system that is contributing to your heavy periods. So you can not only lighten up your periods, but you can regain your energy, balance your hormones, and optimize your health for the short and long term, reducing your risks for diseases like diabetes, autoimmunity, and Alzheimer's, just to name a few. Testing is key, and it needs to be the right test. I run the biome effect stool test with all of my clients in the hormone harmony method, because it is the only stool test that uses whole genome sequencing to give us the most sensitive and specific results about the health of your gut. So we can know exactly what's going on and what to do about it. Now I've hit you with a lot today. If you're feeling overwhelmed, please don't fret. I'm going to continue to break this down for you and you're most week welcome to reach out with questions as well. Now, in the meantime, Take care and we'll chat soon. Bye for now.